wholeness and balanced vibrations family. Sending much love to you. I trust your soul is well. I know your soul is well. I trust your spirit is in tune. Today's topic is strictly spirit. And of course it's multidimensional connections. And you are in the driver's seat of these movements in spirit. You know, not riding shotgun. As we continuously refine the spirit into the self-realization of self, and we're reminded where we were and where we are now or where we're going. And I remember through this thing we call time traveling, we get to go into the past of our consciousness and of our awareness and to the future as well. Having more, I'd say, more um, tangible remembrances of the smells, tastes, sounds of something we experienced previously. And I remember when I was in the church, raised in the church, grew up in what we know as the Bible Belt uh, out here in South Carolina or in the South, where there's more churches when I was a teenager, more churches um, in my county than the state of Ohio. Um, it was wow when I first heard that. But it was a song in church that was sung and was called Yes. And just kept saying yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. My soul says yes, yes. And it really kept doing that. It was like a ballad. You know, it was so beautiful, so moving. And I was a church musician, so, you know, me on the saxophone, keyboard player getting loose, uh, the vocalist getting loose, the drummer, you know, and the whole ensemble, choir, you know, it was a blissful, tender experience. And as we came here, as we are spiritual beings living this physical incarnation, in car and flesh, in car nation, we get distracted here. The traction is taken from under us based on our orientation of our parents uh, or the environment that we're in that can take us away from true north or what spirit is and take hijack that experience and then we turn that externally so now we take our spirit and we surrender it to another deity with the most illustrious uh, tender romantic uh, what words you want to add to it, uh, experience. And we surrender, I mean, you gave of yourself. No one took it from you. Because before, it was by force. We say within the recent history of humanity, uh, from the African experience, that original experience, you were forced upon you. You either worship this or you, you off with your head, you know, off with your arm, fingers. And then eventually, mothers got tired of that. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to see my baby you know, uh, dismembered in front of me. I'm not gonna see that. So they begin to teach that as, as the gospel, as the word, as to be true. And this has now become a more, again, fanciful, romantic love or desire to surrender your spirit that came from the supreme, omnipotent, unfathomable, uh, uh, words allude trying to express what the soul or our fractal of the soul the spirit is and with that knowledge another is empowered because you surrendered your energy to them so it builds their nation it builds their uh their their uh their story they, your, your power is now being used that's what your batteries are being used to power another ship, another vehicle, another um, agenda. And now as, and so as I went into that space within my consciousness and went into a space feeling the vibration, hearing the sound, seeing the mother's tears roll down her face, even the men, you know, you know, face begin to leak. <laughs> like, wow. And with mixed feelings, I would, I started to feel sad. You know, like, wow. 
such an amazing work of, of devotion has been ushered into in front of our real, true connection with self. This bliss, this orgasmic experience that we get naturally to fuel another part of our body with multidimensional beings. And in meditation today, which consistency is key for everything, I collected that back and transmuted it and say now I get the opportunity to fuel myself and love myself with that same level of devotion for my spirit for having the awareness to pour into myself so I can be a power or a vessel for the supreme consciousness that really is innate to all of us and the, the trickery that got most, I broke that spell with the help of some other supreme beings who enlightened me, you know, or those unseen beings who gave me the questions to ask. And then the motivation to get the answers for those I would ask or ask within myself. And within this meditation that today, that love of yes turned into that love of yes that I am now attuning my own vessel, my own spirit to be reconnect to soul, to be a reflection of the divine as you are. I'm a reflection of you and we're a reflection of the soul. And our duty is to help enlighten others to remembering who they are, remember. Get your pass, go put, punch, snap your card. You are a member of the divine team. You have to remember. Remember. Membership is always available. <laughs> and so within that consciousness, tapping into that essence of ourselves, connecting with the, the divine masculine and divine feminine and embracing that as our whole true love, Pouring into yourself, even when you look at a heart, it has that terrorial inwardness. That's divine feminine and divine masculine coming into balance. Love for oneself. But you love yourself as you love others. And you'll find that divine connection above and below in different dimensions that you experience. So we're angels. Angels. The divine angle, as one of my mantras was, uh, again, I am just a vessel. A vessel for an angle, for truth, to reflect, refract just a bit of light to all those who feel and internalize the true essence of themselves that can be found inside, inside. So collect your soul, collect your spirit, and Gain access of this powerful tool, almost. Oh,